This is what it looks like when you have so many trees. Sometimes you get to see a little bit of sky. Sometimes you don't. Pretty amazing. I'm going to have blueberries, blackberries. These are blackberries. Some bird planted these for us, along with an oak tree and honeysuckle and God knows what else. Yes, tulip poplar. Definitely there's a forest inside this magnolia tree that dad planted in 1999. So these are our flying dragon lemons. And they're babies. They're just, oh, we had so many blossoms. We've been fertilizing it. And I got the moon. The moon and the flying dragon golf ball lemons. And maybe the freeze did get a little bit of the tree because look at that. It looks like it might have died a little bit. Sturtiums. Right next to our um, camellia. And we do have bluebirds in the bluebird house right there. And thankfully, we have a pretty fern that comes back every year. And I have given parts of it to people. They gave me some plants. Most plants didn't make it, but that's all right. <sighs> I used to do a lot of mosaic work. So there's um, a bathroom rug and some mosaic work right there. And here is um, a shrub that I rooted, totally free. Will I get iris this year? I don't know, but I ought to pick the cleaver. We have cleaver and penny royal and look at all that cleaver. I think I'll get some and make some tea. So we have amaryllis blooming. I have it in a protected space, and it's not, um, very bright yet. I just saw an airplane. It's long gone though, it's far away. So, I wrote howdy, but I forgot the I, so I wrote it in, with the red eye, and we have a lot of amaryllis blooming. We had a wreath, and birds kept nesting in the wreath, so I just traded uh, something that I had for that little um, wall hanging that I put some coconut fiber in. Bob told me to come outside because the sky is pink. But I am not going to miss taking a picture of the amaryllis. I just wish that it were a little brighter.